Delish. on my way to Zumba <laughs> um, I have been jamming to Soka heavy heavy <sighs> um, I'm just feeling very unfulfilled from my trip because y'all know I didn't get to complete it the way I thought I would have um, so I feel like I'm still very much on a Soka high so I said I need to make sure excuse me I need to make sure, God, this pothole is crazy. I'm sorry. I need to make sure that I make it to the Zumba class because I need to get like my my boost of, of Soka today. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I had been jamming to all the new songs um, that I've been, well, I mean, I started listening to it before, but um, I've fallen in love with certain songs after Carnival. So the playlist is playlisting okay it's updating so if you guys are interested I, I I'm pretty sure I have it so that they're automatically generated now so under every video you'll see like my playlist at the very bottom um, my playlists are only on Spotify I don't like Apple music so I don't use that I'm so sorry to the girls that don't have Spotify um, but I feel like maybe you can see the playlist anyways you can see like the songs and then you can you know do what you will with that but yeah so i'm going back to my my little carnival in the car right now <laughs> oh soka is life has gotten increasingly annoying as I've gotten older. Like this like high pitch, like, yeah! <laughs> I can't stop, I love it. But I be hearing myself back and it's just like, ew, is this me? Um, I'm currently running 20 minutes late for this class. <laughs> so, of course the parking lot is full. Um, wow. Okay, by the time I walk to this class from this parking spot, I'm gonna be another 20 minutes late. So the class will be over. In my defense, like, y'all know I ain't all the way right. So, like, at least I got up. Shit. At least I'm here. Oh, damn. All right. 
Anyways, let me run to this class, get this little 20 minute workout in. <laughs> um, and I will see y'all later. Jam, jam says to be continued. <laughs> see y'all later. Several song filled hours later. Whew. Okay, first of all, it is super windy. It's not like cold, cold. It's windy. Whew. Cha. First of all, walking in, the wind almost took me out. But then, like, when you're sweating and it's windy after, like, that is not cute. That is not cute, especially for how I'm feeling right now. We are on the men's, on the up and up. We got to bring back down. Please. Please. So, I need to run to Target to do a quick picker upper. I was debating if I wanted to do delivery I was like let me just go to the store oh but it is mm. let me just go to the store so I'm gonna go pick up a new toothbrush from Target um, and I saw a matching water flosser and I'm I'm extra so why not pick that up as well um, and then I think it was like oh I picked up some e.l.f. liquid blushes. I'm obsessed with those. I never thought I'd be a liquid blush person, but between e.l.f. and Juvia's Place, like I'm just, ugh. And it actually works for me and my makeup process because the whole doing all the wet things, letting it sit and then no. One thing about me, once I put concealer on, I need to set it because it will crease. I have really creasy under eyes. <laughs> so the whole, oh, like, oh, did a blush and because no. I need to I need to put powder in certain areas, then go in with the liquid blush, and I can do that and have it not look like splotchy or like gross looking. So I'm a fan. And then I use like one of my blush toppers with a little glow, little something, and it just eats. It's so beautiful. I'm obsessed. Um, so did I get more shades? Yes, I did. <laughs> you guys don't have a problem. But is it a problem if it makes me happy? Like, is it a problem if it brings me joy? Or am I just loving myself? Yeah. All right, let's go to Target. So Target has these Hermes dupes. I know Steve Martin came out with some, but oh, okay, Target. And I'm an 11, so these run big, because look how perfectly, like, yeah, these run big. Yeah, Sonia. Can you tighten these? Yeah, I think you can. That looks a little crazy though. Let's see. How much are these? $30. Yeah, let me get it in white. Thank you. It'll be my Beyonce era, period. Come on, Texas, hold him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, more of my stupid dupes. Oh, period. These actually have like support. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Target. Oh, yeah. Take all my coins. Yeah, just give a broke. Another one, thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
a dupe to Baccarat Rouge. I see what I did there, the Rouge. have done delivery I had four things in my cart I should have had them bring my stuff to my house and that's it because <laughs> I I don't even want to talk about how much I just spent but the, the, the sandals have memory for them y'all know I got feet problems y'all know I need support. I need orthopedic, orthopedic, orthopedic sandal. And it has memory phone and support. Sign me up. I need it. I need it. Okay. I need it. I had to. Then I had to for y'all. Like, I had to pick them up so that I could show y'all. So y'all can get it. So it's not even like, for me, for real. It's really for y'all. Like, I'm really... Y'all don't appreciate. I do all this for y'all. Like I, <laughs> oh, and now I'm starving, oh, and I'm just like, oh. I'm lucky beefing with Chipotle, but I want a Chipotle burrito, like a full burrito. But like, what's the point if it's not gonna be good if y'all not gonna do what y'all need to do? So I have to go to in store to watch them. Hopefully they have ingredients and stuff and the food not salty. Cause lately some of the stuff be salty. I'm like, Ooh. whoever y'all got seasoning and stuff, tell them to stop. Put fire them. <laughs> I'll fire them. Put them on dishes. Something. Just don't let them season the food anymore. Okay, okay, so I am back home. Actually, let me Turn this heat up, it's a little cold in here. This damn wind. Let me show you guys what I got from Target. I mean, you guys pretty much saw. Why is this the first bag I had to pick up? Okay, in, in my defense, you guys know I love, love, love my Simple Modern Cups. Um, we'll always love those. We'll always, you know, stand for those. But I needed something where I can see the amount of liquid I have inside. Um, as cute and perfect, or damn near perfect as those cups are, I am currently on a mission to increase my water intake and I find that I struggle when I can't see how much I'm consuming. <laughs> I don't know why I need to see it, but I just do. So like, I need to be able to see like, I only drink this much i really need to like ramp it up because i'm just like oh just going by how i feel i never drink enough so ironically i just saw an ad on instagram for this company that makes um a tumbler similar to this with a clear top and i ordered it so it's funny how i go to target today and i see exactly what i need right there so i was like did i order the other one for no reason it's called Hydro Jug. How much was this? I think the Hydro Jug is more expensive, but it's pretty comparable. I don't think it was like far off. You can sip, drink, or gulp. Oh, oh, I see what they did there. Cute, cute. I prefer straw. Yeah, so I like this because the top is clear. So you still get the insulated goodness, but you also get the visuals. Like I said, this is nowhere near as cute as my Simple Modern. Like I just, 
but it is what it is. It serves a purpose. I also got this one, you guys know, I have an obsession. Um, this one's completely clear throughout. It's so funny because I feel like I'm low-key going back to my roots because I've had one's um, bottle similar to this in the past. So I said, maybe I need to go back to my roots because I used to be chugging a gallon a day. I don't know how I did that. Now I struggle to hit half a gallon every single day. Like, if I struggle, I mean, I don't. And when I calculate my half gallon for the day, I don't include the water I drink at the gym. I don't include other fluids and stuff. I consider those extras. Um, I want to drink half a gallon of water just regular life so that hopefully with all the other fluids I drink combined, maybe I am drinking a gallon a day. <laughs> but also like I'm sweaty and stuff, so I feel like I'm not gonna count the gym water. So this one is I think 80 ounces and this is 50 um yeah so in the house these should be my primary drinking vessels for the near future at least until i get myself back into regular drinking mode where i don't have to watch how much i'm drinking to force myself to drink more if i need to oh my gosh okay but you know what that rant was justified because y'all be coming for me because y'all know I shouldn't be buying more cups, but I actually like needed those. At the very least, I, I for real needed this one, you know? But whatever, you're my business. Um, I got some new coochie washes I wanted to try. I tried Honey Pop back in the day, a little while ago, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was a little too gentle for me. Like, I like to, I don't want, I don't, want to feel stripped necessarily that's why i don't really like using castor soap on my feminine parts um but i do want to feel thoroughly cleansed okay sometimes cleansers can be like too gentle or maybe too moisturizing and i just feel like she's not you know that's just how i feel um but I figured I would try it again. It's been a very long time since I tried Honey Pot and they do have fragrances now, which I probably shouldn't even be trying, but Bergamot, hello. So I said, I'm gonna risk it all with my cooter. And then I thought they had another formula. This is a soothing wash. Um, oh, designed for vulvas prone to itching. Oh. Well, period. Um, and I also picked up the Down There Wash in rose water you guys know i love lumi and i've been using them for so long but one thing about my body she don't like nothing great for too long eventually she started to fight back and it's just like girl like what what's the problem we had a great relationship for years what's the problem just all of a sudden there's a problem and i mean unscented nothing what's the problem Anyways, I'm I'm on the hunt for new feminine washes. So if you guys have a favorite, let me know down below. Um, preferably not Summer's Eve, Vagisil. Um, yeah, I want something that's actually good for the cooter. You guys know I, uh, I'm in love with the Maybelline Vinyl Liquid lipsticks, and they came out with a whole bunch of pinks. And one thing about it, whatever color they come out with, I'm getting it. I don't care if I never wear it. I'm getting it because I love this formula so stinking much. Um, the colors don't always match the outside to a T. So that's why I said, let me go ahead and just get them because I actually don't know what they're going to look like. <laughs> um, but yeah, look how pretty these are. Ugh. You guys know I love a good lippy. Um, yeah, so these are really good, really long lasting, gorgeous. And um, I also picked up this ultra matte maybelline liquid lips not liquid it's a uh, bullet lipstick um because i want to do a red lip combo with this so looking forward to that and then i picked up these clips i really need four i wanted to pick up these first so i can see how sturdy they are to help keep my hair in section when i'm washing it so we'll see and i need the big ones because child i ain't got that much hang time i need something that, that has the, the space in the claws to really grip. <laughs> so hopefully these work out and they don't break and they're not too weak. Um, and then I also picked up the Finery Pistachio Police Fragrance. And I feel like I heard somebody mention this and I was like, oh, when I saw it, I was like, let me smell it. 
and you guys saw there were no fragrances on the shelf they were all sold out and so i tried to look it up on the app because one thing about it if they don't have it in store i'm going to scan that barcode on the target app and immediately ship to home or send me a delivery at another location or something very much something okay um it smells so good and at first i was like oh pistachio like i already have a whole bunch of pistachio a whole bunch of pistachio fragrances girl you have two fragrances with pistachio in it relax <laughs> But this is such a fresh take on a pistachio scent because this is more on the sweeter, I would say sweeter, um, like brighter side. It smells like, but this says, it smells like pistachio milk, fluffy vanilla, and taco bean. Based on this, these scent notes, it doesn't give that fruity, bright vibe that I was smelling. Let me smell it again. Girl, I had the lady, and I didn't even know she was going to look in the bag. I was really asking her, like, why I wasn't pulling up in the app. Like, was it discontinued? Did it come out too early? Like, because there was a top that I tried to purchase, and it wasn't supposed to be out. So I'm like, what's going on? Why is this not coming up in the app? Like, hello? Hello? <laughs> but, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. She came back with a bottle. I said, oh. <laughs> I was so hyped. Okay, I had sprayed some fragrances in the air, so maybe that's what I was smelling mixed in. Because this is give, definitely giving all the notes that it said, all this, the sweet marshmallows and things. Where did I get bright, fruity pistachio from? I don't know, but I'm going to go back and watch the footage to see what I sprayed first, because that smelled really good. That was a really good combo, so I feel like I just bought the Kaoli one all over again. Bro, I'm about to be sick. I just knew this was different. I played myself. That's all right, though. I'm going to find the other fragrance because um, I feel like it mixed really well. It smelled really good. All right, so the sandals that I decided to go home with, um, I picked up basically all the Hermes dupes. <laughs> um, and I really wanted to hop on these because, like I said, they had support and memory foam and just, ugh. When I saw these, I said, oh, Target is not playing with the girls, okay? Target is not playing. And I think they have it in brown, too. I didn't find a brown in my size in store. Was it in my cart before I left? Absolutely. I told you, I'm scanning that barcode, and it's coming home with me some way, somehow, okay? Um, I picked up these as well. These are just some cute throw-on sandals. Really, really sturdy. I love that. With the plug. Listen. Huh. I used to get a whole bunch of my sandals from Rainbow because they really had cute sandals and they're affordable, but none of them were giving comfort like this. Like I'm really happy that Target is creating these more affordable, higher quality options for us because like it's such a good blend of the two. Like you get the look, but you also get the support, the stability, and you get the price. You get the price. Like I said, I try to get more metallics and stuff in case I needed to dress up a more casual look. Same reason why I got these. Um, sparkle, sparkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't really wear mules often, so I figured this was a great time to try it since they are a lot more affordable than the ones I've been eyeing. Sorry, than the ones I've been eyeing. And then I picked up these Birkenstock lookalikes just as a quick throw on and go kind of thing kind of ting i didn't really need these but once again when i saw that they had the contoured footbed with the padding i said oh these are gonna be so comfy but these are so cute oh i really didn't need these i consider putting these back but uh, can you see these are so cute oh my god and i was like jamima if you can have these but you also have the hermes dupes which are you really gonna like pull these out to wear and i probably won't get as much wear out of these to be honest but they're just so cute and i know i'm gonna enjoy them anyways uh these dior dupes so like so this i got an 11 i can already tell right now it's gonna be too big not even length wise but width wise something the 11s are always just bigger than the 10s but i said they don't they don't have these I have to go inside another Target to see if they have these. Because I tried to look these up on the app. These are the Dior, Christian Dior, Dior dupes. These say Capri. Um, 
it's not bad i don't regret buying these but i had to get these in 11 because i didn't have a 10 available like i said they had so many 11s bro like if you're a true 11 like you can't pass it. like get, if you're an 11 run, run the run the target right now run the target right now okay um so yeah these will be getting some wear from me this summer oh i'm coming with all the cute footwear oh yeah i'm getting rid of all my cheaper ones that are not as cute because we need to make space for these okay um but that's pretty much it besides the oral care that i purchased um i just love black i'm like Juma, you probably shouldn't get black because you know you don't have anything black in your bathroom. Like your bathroom's not black, but I want it black. So even if I have to like tuck it away or something, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, but I want it black. Anyways, that's it for my Target haul. So I'm about to refuel. I need to reorder my energy drinks. I finished all my Fairlife energy drinks. Mind you, I bought them in stock. Like I went ham, but all the chocolates, all the strawberries, and now I have nothing left. I don't have one left. I dropped the ball. Jamima run out of something. That's like one of my biggest fears. If I see them running low, I'm buying 16 boxes and keeping it as backup. Me running out and not having it when I need it, not having something when I need it is insane. Look at me now, I'm struggling. Okay, let me go wash my ass. Bye. I really bought K Aldi twice. That's crazy. What did I think I was smelling? Uh. Good morning. I'm vlogging. I'm with my brother at the grocery store. Because he's making me breakfast. And he's also buying me groceries, but he doesn't know it yet. <laughs> I already got one. You can pick whatever you want. Actually, I eat wheat bread, but at this point, I'm just picking up stuff. Why you walk away and then left you to put the stuff on the cart on the on the um thingy and now he back there you need to be in the front to pay yeah, yeah. Why can you and that beer
has background singers. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it. Yeah. Who that damn Hello darlings, I am back home. I was hoping to get home early enough to record some videos. And I did, technically. But then I was on the phone with my friends planning another trip. <laughs> Time escaped me and lo and behold, here we are. A day of no work being done. <laughs> Oops! I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in a game. Oh, baby, baby. You know, I've been getting a lot of comments about how tired I've been looking lately. And I want to be offended. But also, what is my face giving that I'm looking more tired? Like, do my eyes look darker? Are they more like, sunk it in? Like, what? what is my skin giving? That is making me look like I'm not well rested, I'm not hydrated. I mean, I'm normally not those things anyways, but I feel like you couldn't tell before. And now people are just like, oh, like, are you okay? Like, you look tired, you look this, you look that. Mm, excuse me? <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> mm. Anyways, so um, I got some more finery fragrances. I did a toy delivery. And I was able to pick up the suit on the outside. That's the one that I sprayed first um, before I sprayed the Kaoli Dude, the pistachio one, and thought I smelled a fruity pistachio. So I was like, maybe if I spray them together, I'll get that same effect. I did not. <laughs> but she's still cute though, I'm not mad. Um, I also picked up the Baccarat dupe. I didn't need this, but I wanted to play around with this for you guys actually. And I know I'll be saying that sometimes, but like for real, for real, I really mean that. <laughs> because one, nobody wants to spend all the extra money on Baccarat all the time, you know? Um, also, you guys know that I tried out the mix that Brittany mentioned, which is the Gourmand Escapade and Baccarat mixed together. Chef's kiss. But one, Baccarat is expensive as hell and sk gourmand is very difficult to find so i was like oh maybe if i mix these two i'll get a similar vibe or even like the new rouge with the pistachio kind of see what vibe that gives so i sprayed these two on this arm and so far she's doing something like it's not the same exact thing but I feel like the vibes are pretty similar-ish. So if you wanted to try something out, I would definitely recommend trying out these finery fragrances. Now, I have not tested them for longevity or anything like that. So I don't know how well they play in that regard. Um, but they smell good, like fresh out the bottle. On this arm, I have the, the mix I just told you about, sweet on the outside and a pistachio one. Um, both arms smell really good. This one's definitely more of that sweeter gourmand vibe. This one is sweet with a sexy sophistication. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be playing around with these finery fragrances. Can't wait to dabble in them some more. I will keep you guys updated on how they are working out for me. Um, yeah. Once again, I'm giving y'all all the tea. Oh. I really need to take some time at some point in the next week or so to really reorganize my closet yet again and my bathroom because I need to like make room for hair products now because who am I also low-key I'm I haven't all the way paused on my search for hair care because the way my hair just reacts to products, I'm starting to wonder if it's the product or the water. Because um, I'm just like, at this point, maybe I just have hard water and that's why my hair just hates everything. Um, so I did order a new shower head from Amazon. I don't know how great it is at actually removing the hard toxins and minerals and stuff, but we'll see. I'm really going to miss my current setup because I love a... I love an elaborate shower like I do oh uh, in the amount of work it took to even set this up not that I did it personally but still I watched Mr. Sir hook it up and he was struggling um and it's just uh, like I'm really about to give this up for my hair that's insane to me oh uh, my waterfall shower 
because my hair is temperamental. Oh my gosh. And then what if it's like not even a solution? And I just discombobulate this whole thing that was a struggle to put up, probably won't be able to put back up. So <sighs> first one problems, but there's still problems. <sighs> People are dying again. I know. I know. All right. Um, that's it for me tonight. I think I'm going to shower now. Um, well, I still have my rain fall shower head. <sighs> Good night. <laughs> Bye. If I peace sign y'all one more time, <laughs> at this point, if y'all block me, unfollow me, mute me, I get it. Because why is that my first instinct? Just to. <laughs> Anyways, good morning. I'm about to have some cereal. I feel like cereal is my, cereal is my happy place. But as someone who is lactose, who shouldn't be consuming dairy, like at this point I'm allergic, like let's just say I'm allergic to dairy because it's not even just the lactose, like the way my skin reacts, I'm just allergic. And then the way that I know that I don't have no self-control. <laughs> so it's like, all right, so not only are you allergic to dairy, you're lactose, but you're also consuming all the sugar because you're eating cereal six times a day because you have no self-control. <laughs> so I try not to buy cereal, but every once in a while, I'll just have that craving and I'll be like, you know what, Jamima? Treat yourself. And once that gallon of milk finishes, that's it. We're going to table the cereal, and that's just that. So, have I been having a crap little cereal lately? Yes. <sighs> Did I plan to have a real breakfast today? Yes. Am I still about to have cereal? Yes. <laughs> First of all, I'm on a time crunch because I have two alarms. I didn't hear any of them. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I was like, no, I, I needed to be on time today. And... It's like, oh, you chose to not cooperate? Like, what's going on? I feel like my clock is still still thinking she she had China. Like, it's like my phone still thinks she she on carnival time. Girl, get up, get me up. Um, so yeah, overslept. Didn't do my cleaning task that I had set for myself today. And I'm trying to do better with that, like assign little things for me to accomplish every day, like literally write everything out in my planner, whether I accomplish them or not. <laughs> but at least I know like I have a schedule that's reasonable. So I was not able to tackle my cleaning tasks this morning, unfortunately. Um, but I did finish my video. Um, that's uploading as we speak. So that should be going up today. And I'm, I've been doing so bad with content just pre post during carnival i had every intention of working when i was in trinidad i did y'all not be working on my own like but trinidad, like carnival is just a different beast in general especially when you're going as heavy as we did for trinidad like it, when i had downtime i wasn't trying to work i was trying to watch uh korean dramas k dramas Mm-hmm. When I was down and out, and if I try to edit, <laughs> I was binge watching, what's it called? It's a really good show. Um, I really enjoyed it. Like, I really enjoyed it. Let me see what it's called. I'm finna put y'all on. Crash Landing on You. Ah. Uh. Uh, and every time I thought about the end, because I didn't look to see like how many episodes were left, I wanted it to be a surprise, which is crazy because I usually never like that. But I was just so like enraptured. It's such a beautiful show, and every episode is like an hour and fifteen minutes or something ridiculous that I love. The only thing with I think like a lot of the K dramas, well, particularly the ones that I've watched, maybe not all of them, but they are very slow burns. And I feel like growing up in the states, watching shows and stuff here. 
people be sleeping together on the first episode. Like, what you mean y'all didn't kiss until episode 16? It's a very slow burn. And I be feeling like, okay, well, y'all gonna get to it. And then I be like, but you mean, why you wanna watch them get to it? You know, like, <laughs> but other than that, really, really good. Like, I, and then I do like that because they don't focus on that. You really see the actual, like, bonding and character development between the two characters. Because a lot of times I feel like a lot of shows lack that. It's like, oh, so-and-so are in love. When did y'all fall in love? You looked at each other three times. Maybe, you know, did a little something, something, and that was it. There was no conversation. Like, you don't really see how the characters' emotions develop over time. They were like, hey, dramas, you gonna get it all. Oh, and that was a really good one. Like, it was just, uh, so many twists and turns. It, it, it was just really, it was just really good. I can't binge watch them the way I want to because, because they are in Korean. I have to read the subtitles, um, so it's I have to focus when I'm watching them. Unlike other stuff, when like I'll be like watching Suits and I'll be like doing stuff in the kitchen, I can't do that with K drama. So that's why I really enjoyed my um, binge session when I was in Trinidad because I don't I don't have too much of those, you know. Mm. This cereal is so good. The honey bunch of the boats with almonds. I'm telling you, I don't like almonds. But sometimes in different foods, it be hitting. Because I'll never get the regular one. I always get the almonds. And it's always busting. Mmm. Mmm. Delish. Anyways, I'm about to choke this down. And get ready to start my day. Period. One minute, 37 seconds later. Mm. I love cereal. My skin hates it. My stomach hates it. But my mouth okay. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> you see it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who was productive? I was productive, period. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I'm taking a quick lunch break. I'm having tacos. So we're about to deep dive into that. And for a little caffeine boost, I'm also having Sprite Zero. The way I have been like incessantly drinking um like diet sodas for caffeine <laughs> it's actually a sickness it's actually a sickness oh man <sighs> so the um the beans spilled over into the tacos and it has cheese on it so that's gonna be difficult to remove it's giving the the door dasher was violently oh come on man Messing up my barbacoa taco. Come on. Uh. <sighs> yeah, that, look, look at this. <sighs> oh. oh my God! Come on, bro. Killing my vibe. Killing my vibe. I haven't ordered tacos from this place in so long. Like I said, I be having to put myself in timeout sometimes because I be doing too much. <laughs> but there was a point in time, honey, when they were getting orders on a regular basis. And I was like, all right, Dreamer, you can make your own. Mm. That's what I need to do, honestly. Order some tacos from HelloFresh because those tacos be busting. Okay? Busting. Squeeze a little, a little. I can't even. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Just got me out here struggling. You're on camera at that. Anyways, after this, I'm gonna do some of that cleanup that I missed earlier today. Y'all, when I left for Trinidad, I left my apartment in sh sh shambles, okay? 
I left my apartment in shambles. And I was like, I need to never do that again. But work be working and life be life in. Mm. Anyways, all y'all watch me do today is eat. <laughs> okay. Mm. And you know what? So far, I'm having a great day. <laughs> I'm having a great day, okay? Mm. Ah. Yo. Yo. It's like his eye keeps watering. I used my new closest concealer today that I got in PR. And it's more liquidy and lightweight than I'm used to. But I was definitely able to build it up to get the covers that I wanted. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Blends seamlessly. Now that's probably one of those concealers that the girls like to leave on their face for a little bit before they blend it out. It's very watery. But um, I'm mocking how it looks. The shade match that they sent me. Perfection. Perfection. Anyways. I'm going to finish this. Whew, sorry. I'm going to finish scarfing this down and I want to do so in a very uncamera-esque way. So I'm going to see you on the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, Cause I'm about to enjoy the rest of this meal, okay? Yeah. Bye, okay? Later.